Hi there. I'm Dr. Abhilash, endocrinologist from Medical College Trivandrum. I'm here to answer an important question on should a healthy person worry about consuming iodized salt? Indians through the landmark Kangra Valley experiment were the first in the world to show that iodine supplementation through iodized salt can be the answer to tackling iodine deficiency disorders. In the 1980s, WHO had estimated that 30 to 50 percent of the world population were iodine deficient, following which the government of India started universal iodine, uh, iodization of salt and now we are fast approaching our target of 90% adequately iodized salt consuming households in India. And uh, the WHO defines adequate iodine status in a population to have a median urinary iodine concentration of more than 100 microgram per liter and iodine excess when UIC is more than 300 microgram per liter. The Amrita thyroid survey from Central Kerala showed that 15% of subjects had iodine excess whereas 30% was still deficient. And iodine excess can lead to both hypo and hypothyroidism, autoimmune thyroiditis, and even predisposed to papillary carcinoma thyroid. So it's important to have a balanced intake of iodine. The recommended daily allowance of iodine can be met by consumption of just 5 to 10 grams of salt per day. But the sole reliance on dietary salt of iodine sufficiency for iodine sufficiency is not advisable as excess salt intake can lead to cardiovascular morbidity as well as mortality. Uh, instead, we should try and diversify our sources of iodine from foodstuff like fish, egg and milk and other iodine containing vegetables like seaweeds etc. Just one serving, a serving of sardine of 80 grams can meet the 25% of your recommended daily allowance whereas an egg can give you 20% and milk can give you 40%. The safe upper limit of iodine consumption per day is up to 1100 milligram per day. Thank you.